April 27th, 2005, Toulouse, southwestern France. Inside this massive plane, six men are about to make aviation history. Spread around the airport are an estimated 50,000 spectators, each hoping to catch a glimpse of the giant new machine. This is what it's all about. Whether you're an aviation or an engineering enthusiast or, or not, this is still a very significant day. Today is the big day for us. Now everything will pay off yeah, in terms of in terms of sweat, in terms of time, in terms of uh, problems we had in the past, and now today everything is you know reset to zero, and uh, we look forward to see this baby fly. It's taken over ten years and six billion pounds to get to this moment. The maiden flight of the Airbus A380, the biggest airliner ever built. It's early March here in Toulouse, and although there's just weeks before the first flight, the plane looks far from finished. If the aircraft that's supposed to make the jumbo jet obsolete is ever to leave the ground, there are still many problems to overcome. We've got dip one on side two is true, and dip two on side two is false. With space for over 850 passengers, four enormous engines and a state-of-the-art digital cockpit, the A380 is proving to be a challenge to build. Just getting this far has been quite an achievement. The major parts for the giant have been built in Spain, France, the UK and Germany. In an amazing feat of logistics, they've been carried by barge, ship, air and road, thousands of miles to the brand new assembly line in Toulouse. High-tech laser-guided machinery has been used to join the prototype together. The engines, landing gear and cockpit have been designed and built and in a glitzy ceremony the aircraft revealed to the world. This is the last chapter of the extraordinary story as pilot and passenger safety systems are tested and engineers battle to get the A380 airworthy. 154 are already sold, and if the prototype's finished late, or worse still, fails to fly as well as hoped, the consequences could be catastrophic. Of course the airplane will fly. There's no question about that. The real question is, does it meet its performance goals? Everybody around the world is going to be watching. Is the airplane doing what Airbus said it would do? Is it performing the way Airbus said it would perform? The stakes are high. If the A380 is a failure, it could bring down the company. If it's a success, it will supersede the Boeing 747 and allow Airbus to make a simply enormous amount of money. Is this about money? Of course it is. Think about the revenue potential. Each airplane sells in today's dollars at a catalog price of about $300 million. Now, over 20 years, our global market forecast is about uh, 1,600 aircraft. That would be $480 billion U.S. dollars. Suppose you only get half of it, $240 billion U.S. dollars at catalog price. Now, that is an awful lot of money. 
With so much riding on the performance of this machine, there is intense pressure on the men and women of Airbus to deliver. It's like the final climb to the peak of Everest, let's say. It, it, the last sort of 10, 20 feet when the oxygen levels are, are so small is often the most difficult, the most difficult part of the, of the journey. And that's essentially where we are at the moment in terms of this aircraft. Simon Sanders is in charge of testing the landing gear, one of the most safety critical systems. In just 56 days time, the pilots' lives will depend on these 22 wheels, retracting and extending, come what may. Altogether, the gear weighs the same as 20 family cars and must be lifted into the belly of the plane in just 13 seconds. Getting the system operational has taken months of hard work but now it looks as if they're finally making progress. The last few months um, have been very frustrating because we've had um, obviously a lot of, of, of technical difficulties with systems on the aircraft. We've had a lot of problems during testing, so we've all been working very, very, very hard in order to, to have all of our systems all working um, for first flight. So that's system one, looking good. This is why we're here. Days like today is, is uh, why you do this job, because it's very exciting to see the gears moving, and you spend an awful lot of time making sure that the right parts are where they should be, and so <laughs> I've been waiting for this for months. <laughs> the last hurdle is to simulate a worst-case scenario. Even if all power was lost during the flight, the pilots must still be able to lower the wheels to land. To do this, there's a backup system that simply lets the gear fall down under its own weight. The test is risky, because the wheels will collide with the doors as they drop, and damaging anything at this stage could delay the project. So this is the, uh, the big test, yeah. yeah. The outer doors begin to open under their own weight. Any second now, the locks that hold the gear up will release. Immediately, it's clear that something's gone wrong. Next, the massive six-wheeled main gears deploy. And after a delay of 16 seconds, the jammed outer wheels slip free. It's not a good result. We've, we've worked as hard, we've done the best we, we possibly can, and, and we are where we are at the moment. For me, it's something to get stuck into. <laughs> something to understand, something to uh, find a solution. Without delay, the team try an experiment to find out where the wheels are snagging. A dab of grease on a guide ramp where the wheel is supposed to push the door open, should prove if this is quite literally the sticking point. The ramp does seem to be the problem. The team need to find a more permanent solution, and fast. More than five and a half thousand miles away in Phoenix, Arizona, Another set of engineers are developing another essential safety system. The A380 needs 16 escape slides, each one custom built to meet stringent regulations. And that means a lot of work. Each slide is designed on computer. This is one of the most complex on the whole plane, the overwing slide. Today, it will be tested for real, a critical time for the engineers. This is a brand new slide. Um, 